all right guys welcome back to the channel before I start this video I want to give out a big shout out to Mint Island custom diecast first member of this channel if you want to find out more about memberships I'll leave a link to a video up here that video you will learn all the perks about being a member so if you like the content of this channel please consider joining and one of the perks is you're gonna watch videos before everybody else so mid island custom already watched this video hopefully before anybody else now i also want to give a big thanks to sipsacars.com that is the web page where ted gray has most of the information about the sipsa cars sipsa cars are cars that were made hot wheels cars that were made in mexico he sells this book it has all the information on the web page plus a lot more a lot more so if you want to learn more about the mexican hot wheels that is the sipsa versions which are the the first after after uh, sipsa there was another company that took over please check out the page all right so according to the information there are less than less than a thousand known models that were made in mexico and only one this is that this is one belongs to Ted and only one of them is still in the blister there is another one which I don't remember the name right now but you're gonna find it let me see if I can find it real quick uh, it's the mutt mutt something there's another one that uh, it's also has a blister but uh, there it is this is odd job that's what it's called right now it's in Mexico but this one I believe the story is somebody bought it on eBay on uh, like 40 years ago and took it to Germany a soldier and he opened it so the bubble is open he could take the car in and out and uh, then he later on he sold it on eBay and a guy from Mexico bought it now, there's tons of information here about the the models that are known uh, that were made by uh, Sipsa so the way I understand it is Hot Wheels in the early 70s they wanted to sell Hot Wheels in Mexico but I guess there was something going on with the laws that Hot Wheels cannot ship the cars all put together directly to Mexico so they hired this company the Sipsa which was a uh, plastic company and if I understood correctly they got the base or the chassis however you want to call it and the body they did not get any of the interiors the roof the windshields they had to make everything now they are not marked underneath like they were made in Mexico so you're gonna have to do your homework as to to be able to identify them uh, the one of the, the things that they makes them stand out is the, the paint job so they did not have spectra flame paint uh, I believe my personal opinion they were just trying to cut costs because I think they were getting the cars without being uh, sink plated that's what I think I'm not really sure there's none of that is mentioned in the book or the page and they were in charge of making the interior like this one is one of the most famous one 
the classic court uh, the one that came out here in the United States had a black roof black interiors clear windows as you can see this one had a white roof white interiors and blue tinted windows like it was made in uh, Hong Kong but it's all like that so some of the cars well how was provided them with uh, some of the chassis are branded like they were made in Hong Kong and some were made in the United States so you gotta go through all the information to find out which one is which let me see if I can show you something okay so here is the sand which you can see that the base there uh, as a Hong Kong version and they tended to have a lot of mistakes when they were creating the mushroom pose so a lot of them have errors and all of them have uh, what's known as this is something that I'm not really sure enamel paint most of them have enamel paints but on s a lot of them have metallic paint and that's where I come in this is the back of the card as far as I understand it only these models here so we got four seven ten only these were available in a blister that again that's what I understand everything else was part of a uh, a track set or something according to the information in the book here and in the page uh, like the snake and mongoose it was first seen in a track set so and another data important here it says where it says this line right here authentico acabado automotriz so that means authentic finish uh, basically trying to say uh, authentic car paint so that's what I'm thinking they use because a lot of cars had metallic paint so they probably went to like a GM or Ford and something that was made with metallic paint back then and that's how I started to work on these customs on the page you're gonna see that this Ferrari 512 S it's very difficult to find this is not a true Sipsa I don't have any true Sipsa I just created the art created the card of course it has the name of my channel so nobody gets confused trying to say that uh I'm trying to replicate something so I I changed it up a little bit the art you can see it's a big blister but the art is the art that Hot Wheels used in the 1973 blister that they had 1973 was the first year Hot Wheels did the smaller blister like the ones we have today so I guess they had the old template for the old card but the new picture for the new card as you can see I changed it up back here a little bit I left all the original things up here but then I added all the models that are known to be SIPSA so this is an original Hot Wheels that was beat up and I just painted gray apparently this car was only available in a gold and this silver color the one that came out in the United States same one as this same base Hong Kong the one in the US had blue tinted windows as you can see this one has clear tinted windows I had uh, 
second chance red lines over on eBay. He made this windshield for me as when I bought this car, did not have a windshield. So this is the Ferrari 512. And of course, I have something, everything I uh, fix red line. I know that it's supposed to have uh, proper wheels, but these are deep dish, medium size. The car originally had medium size. I just used dip dish because it's the type of wheel that I like. And of course, this is for me. That's what I like. So I created everything. It's just a nice, something nice that, you know, I found that story to be interesting. And uh, it's very, very rare. And here, it's another one I did. The Mighty Maverick. So you already seen the card. Let's see if I could open this up. So the Mighty Maverick, if you check the webpage, you can see that it was available in uh, a few colors. One of the colors, it was purple, but it was not spectra frame uh, purple. It was a metallic. So that's what I did here. And it had tinted windows. This is original. Everything is original. Uh, as far as I know, these sips up did not have any details painted in the front nor the back and again and you can see I use uh, deep dish wheels now as far as the page goes the mighty Merrick was only found or has only been found with a US base so uh, I do have a US base, but I want to restore that one. And I had two Hong Kong, so this is a Hong Kong made car. But just, you know, part of the video, I wanted to show you one of the models that I like. There's a lot of cool stories referring to um, the Sipsa cars. Here's another one. And this is one of the first ones that really caught the eyes of everybody because according to the page, the beginning a lot of people were saying that the cars were fake because they had different paint jobs but when they found one of these it was not going back because you can see that for one they have metallic paint and they also have the Sipsa logo where the Mattel logo is supposed to go and it says Los Auténticos up here in the top uh, it took me over a month to do all this create the art create the water slide create the cards there is a lot of work here and I paid a, a big chunk of money for these cars they are all original except for the wheels and I did not drill out the rivet I took them apart here on the hinge then I put them together. I did a video on how to remove the windshield. It's here in my channel if you want to check it out. Oh, I also did my uh, the channel initials here in the back just so nobody gets confused and think, thinks that this is a original. You have the snake, you gotta also have the mangoes. This one is special. 
because let me show you I've only seen this on US made cars on some of them the base I guess it has a like more copper in the mixture of the metal when I bought this one the base was completely black it was stained black and when I cleaned it look at the color it turned out and I have other red lines where I've, uh, the, the metal turns black and when I clean it it turns out the same color so I consider this a chase because not not all US made uh, Hot Wheels get this effect so that's kind of cool you can see the the art there also I also did the DSC here on the on the back detail on the book it doesn't mention this one having the details in the back but might as well add it I didn't add the turn signal but it is what it is all original inside same thing again this one does have this thing here broken so it doesn't connect here with the top that's why it doesn't stay close but it is pretty cool it is pretty cool let me check this one out I'll put it over here and now for the big surprise I made two I wanted to get the same bubble for all the cars and the ones I was able to find these cars fit but they they're too tall the bubble is too tall so the cars flip Here's another one. And by the way, these are all US made cars, just like the ones that were sold in Mexico at that time. And again, everything is all original, except for the wheels. It's the hardest thing was to maintain them separate because I didn't want to mix anything the windshields everything went back to the same car that was put together back in those days there's another one the rear engine dragster that's another car that does have the Sipsa uh, artwork Now you're probably thinking, why did he do the same colors? And again, all original inside. The reason I did the same colors is because this one is it's not broken as you can see. Let me change up the light here a little bit. There you go. Because I'm gonna put these two on eBay I'm not gonna seal the card so you could take them out I will protect the car and they will come with the plastic protector so the link is gonna be down below maybe I could regain some of the funds and maybe do some more so this is the way I'm gonna do it between the four cars and everything I had to buy to be able to do this I have about fifty dollars on each car so the bidding is gonna start at fifty dollars on eBay so check down below for the link 
and of course they're gonna be in separate listings let me know in the comments what you think I do have a classic cord from the RLC and I also have a super fine turbine from the RLC which I could basically swap out into one of these cards and display them of course they're not the right color but I thought about drilling them open and painting them but I think this is enough this is enough so keep an eye out on these on eBay again sipsacars.com that's where I got all the information please make sure you visit the page so you get a uh, nerd out on all the information there let me know which one is uh, your favorite the Ferrari Mighty Mavericks or the Snake and Mongoose by the way these were only available in four colors and both of them had the same colors I'm missing they had a red metallic and what was the other color let me check real quick purple yeah purple metallic so maybe I'll get another two another two additional cars and make one purple and the other one red metallic and and I have all four colors with two different castings all right guys thank you for watching that's gonna be it I'll see you in the next one peace out and don't forget to check out that video about the memberships big shout out again to mid-island custom diecast thank you for joining peace out